First Down Playbook has the most extensive flag football playbook on the planet. And we offer offense and we offer defense. And we'll go in, I want to take a look at our uh, 5v5 offensive formations over the next little bit because we understand that NFL flag and USA football and all of those seasons are about to crank up. Now, before we do that, though, I want to make sure you understand we have 4v4, 5v5, 6v6, 7v7, and 8v8 flag football plays. And we're constantly adding to this on the offensive and defensive side of it. So take a look at the 5v5. And once you get in here, you can see we have eight different 5v5 formations. And today, uh, as you look at them here, we want to go and just focus on what we call a deuce. Now, deuce to us is two wide outs with one back in the backfield. And obviously, you've got a center and a quarterback. Now, we try to arrange our plays by drop back quick game and run pass option. A drop back pass or a drop back play is just a normal drop back. Your routes are gonna be a little longer and uh, it's just typically a play that you might even find in tackle football. The quick game is more, the quarterback's gonna catch the ball, set his feet, set her feet and get the ball out if we're talking about uh, the quarterback being in the pistol or a gun. If your players are so young that you've got them up underneath the center to ensure that you get a snap, then that quarterback will take a three-step drop and then throw it. The RPO is, once again, a run or pass option. So let's take a look real quickly at uh, one of the drop back plays here. And if you'll go in and once you look, you can see every one of those areas I just showed you has multiple plays in it. But let's go just take a look at this right here we call all go Z drag. Now, I think it's important to understand that just because it's a normal drop doesn't mean you have to throw the ball down the field all the time. Now, here's what you can do. You'll notice there's no field in the background here. And that's because we just don't really know whether you have a normalized field or not. And if you do, then what you can do is you can come over here. Obviously, you can flip this play, run it left or right. You've got plenty of coaching points here. Uh, we're helping you out with, but you come over here to options. You've always been able to share and print our plays, but now you can edit them. So if you come in and edit that play, what you'll want to do is go up here to settings and very quickly just go to midfield if you want to. Tap on that. You could do a red zone or backed up play if you want it, and then save the changes. And now you'll notice you've got a field in the background. So once again, you're looking at the formation. You've got two wideouts where that's where the word deuce comes from a center and a quarterback, and a back back here. Now, our color system tries to help the coach and the quarterback know where the ball should go. And so it's a green, blue, red system, all right, meaning that your quarterback would want to look for this right here, your green or your X on a go route, and then your center on a go route. It's important that your center outside release, and then last, your Z coming across the middle. Now, understand that uh, just because it's green, blue, red, you may have this set up the way you want it and understand that your quarterback is young enough to where when that Z comes across the middle and all of your other receivers run off the defense, that's where you really want the ball to go. Now, that would simply be either solved by you telling your quarterback that or coming in and making an edit. You could come in and, and change that if you wanted to and make, you know, you can make this play right here to where you're designing it to get the ball to the Z and then change your X to whatever color. Now, a couple other ways edits are really, really helpful to uh, young flag football coaches. We've got a base split out here and we added a field and you can see that might be a pretty long throw for a young player. So just move that X in. You can take that base split out right there. Just delete that. And you may even want to do the same thing over here. But the key is that now you have the ability to edit this play and you can do with it just about what you want. And well, you can do anything with it what you want. And so all you would do is save that play and now it will show up back in your normal uh, individual team play section. Now, let's go back really quickly here. And once again, once you're in the 5v5 section, just understand you'll go to deuce. And if you went into the quick game area, you would have just as many plays, all right, just the ball's getting out a little faster. If you went into the run pass option area, once again, these are plays where typically the players have an option of whether they're going to run it or pass it. And we understand that 5v5 plays 
in the NFL flag, the quarterback can't run it. But a lot of the run pass options in these plays, almost all of them, in fact, are where you're handing the ball off to a running back or you're going to let the quarterback boot or um, uh, bootleg or naked it out to one side or the other and throw the ball. So understand that first down playbook has the most comprehensive flag football section, offense and defense. If you went into the defense, you'd find the same thing. And at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is save you hours from drawing football plays when you have a busy day and you need a resource like we have right here to where you can come in and get well-drawn plays by professional coaches to help you through your flag football season.